Hey everybody, it's Dog on Eleven, and I have decided that I'm going to record myself playing some Kerbal Space Program, because I've wanted to do, you know, myself playing a game, record it on YouTube uh, for a while. Uh, it's just kind of something I wanted to do, and uh, I've decided, you know, I've got an hour and a half spare, i got nothing better to do, so uh, let's have a little fun together. And I've decided that I'm going to start a career mode in KSP. Uh, career mode save. And I've already been through 1.0 just a little bit. Uh, just a few of the parts, the new aerodynamic model. Um, but nothing serious, so I don't really know what I'm getting into. I've done career before, and I've played KSP for a few versions. I'd say for about a year. So I'm going to go ahead and start up a new one with career mode and oh we gotta pick a flag, we gotta pick a flag, we gotta pick a flag I I can never choose on flags but uh... you know what, I, I like the message behind the rocket science flag how hard can it be? so uh... I'm gonna play on normal, just something basic, you know, not basic, but something just pretty standard and I'm gonna go ahead and name this YouTube save and we're gonna start and I'm gonna make sure I have my way, way, way over what I can do. Uh, I don't remember what kind of a limit I'm facing on time, but uh, it is what it is. I guess I'll just leave my phone there. And I've done this before, Gene, so uh, I don't think I need any help. Although, wow, interesting buildings. Uh, I've never actually played with the downgrade of buildings, so I, where do I gotta start? Research and development. I got. Start has been researched, and to get to the next layers, I'm going to need five science. And with this, I have the capsule, the little booster, mystery goo, a girder segment, and a parachute. Nothing liquid yet. So let's get started. Head over to the VAB. Pardon my chair squeaks. I got it, Werner. Uh, it just is what it is, but it's, it's a real comfy chair. I think if you guys had this chair, you'd be jealous. So let's go ahead and get a... Uh, Something, something going here. Take a Kerbal Pod, take a Parachute. Uh, grab me a Girder. And more Girders. Ooh, come on. And then just take you and go W. And just snap, crackle, pop, Rice Krispies. Give me some engines. A engine for now, just go kind of basic here. Uh, you know what, if these are going to be landing legs, we need some more. So this will keep the impact nice and soft, should save as much as possible. I don't have struts to work with yet, but I'll use the girder segments. And the reason I need to bring things in sa oh, safe and sound is because I'm going to put some science materials on here. I'm going to go ahead and toss a goo container uh, on the edge of each of the girders. I don't believe I've left any cheats on. Let me just check that tab. Nope, no cheats on. Sometimes I'll play with part clipping just because it really opens up the capability of what I can do. But um, I don't know if anybody watching considers that cheating, so we're not going to go there. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and install some more parachutes and see how this goes. So we've got our little starter vessel, we've got our intrepid pilot, Jebediah, on board. Uh, Jeb's, Jeb's crazy. He, he does it all himself. We need to come up with a name with this, name for this. So um, let's just call it, well, let's see. Uh, I can't come up with a name, so I'm just going to think of something generic. We're going to call this the... Meteor One. The Meteor will hereby be the name of the starting manned program we've got. So I'm going to save this and uh, let's give it a whirl. Hopefully, I don't kill Jeb. That would make me very sad. And, uh, ooh, starting launch pad. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get some science going. So we'll take a crew report, keep that data, observe the goo. Keep that data. Go blast off. Whoa. 
That was surprising. Observe the goo. Keep that data. All right, all right, all right. Okay, we're gonna come to a bit of a. Well, we're gonna come to a pretty quick apogee here, but uh, that, that's okay. As we start coming back down, let the shoots go. Observe the mystery goo. Is there anything new about the mystery goo? Review data. Well, you're a Kerbin. You're a Kerbin. So we're gonna keep you. We're gonna reset you. And um, we're not gonna come back down on the pad. So I should be able to use another goo. I know what Fizz Warp does. Relax, game. I'll just need to come out of it at around 600 meters. Coming down nice and steady. Five parachute should be a very gentle descent. Hopefully, nothing will break. And even if it does, yep, there go the outer four. Slows us right on down. And then the middle one should go at 300. I'm going to speed ahead to that. 400. Three f oh, I guess it decided to go early. But very, very gentle descent now. I'm just going to go ahead and let this uh, come on down. Because we'd be sitting here waiting forever, as you can see. The flight timer says it would have taken me two and a half minutes to get this far, and my count says it's taken me less than that. And ta-da! Safe and sound, back on the ground. Let's observe this mystery goo. And uh, screw it, let's just see if we get anything out of using you. Keep data. Bada bing, bada boom. Recover the vessel. First manned launch. Nothing spectacular, but uh, always does it work. So, yep, that's a lot of science. Recovered a bunch of funds, and we got Jeb. Jeb's nice. So now that we got a little something, something to start with, we're gonna head over to the mission control and just gonna accept some missions, especially these two that don't really have that long of a expiry date. Especially five days. Come on, I got five days. Pff, no big deal. Oh, cool. Okay. How long do I have for this one again? Um, I'm not seeing an a, a, uh, expiry date for that one, but, uh, oh, deadline never, right there. Oh, deadline never. That's nice. Okay, so, let's go a little higher, uh, before we go on to the next level of science, because science. Uh, this time, I'm going to go ahead and put engines on the exterior legs as well. Um... Can I just like, oh, I can. Oh, that's that's nice. That's nice. Just do like that. And I'm not using part clipping. Uh, however, is there a parachute? No, there's no parachute. There. That's good. Okay, so. Uh, stick parachutes in the outside of these. So we got some oomph. Um, I noticed we had a little instability on that last launch. I was just a little worried. So I'm going to go ahead and spin stabilize. And this should keep everything uh, hunky dory. And hopefully, we don't die. Uh, just to get some other people some. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and swap you out for Bob. Because, well, I like Jeb. I like Bill. I haven't had an experience with Valentina. Eh, not a fan of Bob. All he does is yell when I'm. A little bit of time, so here we are on the ground. Uh, just make sure I got my resources. And, uh, hell, I can't think of any reason to wait. Let's go! Three, two, one, blast off! Oh dear god, that was highly unexpected! Ooh. Wow! Okay. Sure. You know, I'm not I'm not angry. That works. That's good. That's good. Okay. So uh where are we gonna come down? Let's just do a little time warp here. Not a bad little apogee for the dinky little engines. And now we're gonna come down. Um maybe I'll just go ahead and let the shoots yeah, pull us the right way around. And we're just going to drift in here. Nice and gently. 
Are we going to come down on the pad? Did the spin stabilization serve to just bring us down straight on the pad? I hope not. Because I want to get off the launch pad so I have different on the ground data. But it looks like uh, it's not going to happen. So, there are the chutes. Slow on down to a gentle uh, 4.67 meters per second. And, uh, well, as you saw on the bottom right there, we had some, uh, some records. Speed and altitude. Touchdown. Nothing blew up. Nice, nice, perfectly recoverable position. Can I observe the goo and get anything out of you? No, I cannot. So we're going to recover the vessel. Good job. Flight number two, I forgot to save, so I'm just going to save that. Thankfully, not a pun, because no one's blown up. So we got some, uh... It's a nice funding now. So I think it's time we go into the research and development. We get ourselves into space. Let's get this for the decoupler and this for the basic liquid engine shit. I got 13 science. That takes 20. That takes 18. That takes 15. I don't have enough to get anything more. But I think maybe you're next because I'm going to need a heat shield soon. Uh, God, I want remote rocket tree though and that's so far down the tree I mean, it's just ah there it is okay it's not that far down the tree but it's a little bit away so back to the VAB we're gonna say this is meteor 2 and we're gonna build meteor 3 or I could just hire a hamster pilot and start the unmanned program just have him get out or something I don't know save so Media program. So far, a bit of a success. Um, this thing seems like a pretty nice upgrade. So, because I don't know much about the flea. So we're just going to go ahead and do the same thing we did for Meteor 1, but with a bigger booster and land longer legs. We have an Eero. No, we do not. Okay, that's fine. Let's just go ahead and make sure we have parachutes so everything is recoverable. Again, I'm just going to sort out how this engine handles. Uh, and then we're going to get onto the, the bigger things. Over 30 parts. Crap, I forgot. We, there's upgrades and crap. Okay. Uh, somewhere around here I figure out how many parts I've got on board. 32. Okay, i got to remove two parts. Well, I don't need that much science. Just stick on two. Bada bing, bada boom. Thirty. Meteor three. Save. And uh, let's let Jeb 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 back in control. Uh, my phone has locked the program here, and uh, I think I'll wrap this up and then start another episode. Get two out today. And uh, I'll just probably end up putting these on the subreddit for you all to enjoy. Uh, don't really expect this to become anything, but uh, just having fun. And on that note, Jeb, sitting on a bigger bin of boom, going to go a bit higher. We hope. So he's up, up, and away. Screw it. Let's take it out to sea. See if we can't get some ocean science. Oh, look at this. Look at this thing go. That's impressive. That's purdy. Observe the mystery goo. Is there anything useful out of them? No, not yet. Okay. Goo report. Over the shores. Nope. Okie doke. Come on, let's get out over the ocean a little bit farther. We don't need to go that far. Kerpor? Nope. Still at the shores. Uh, let's let the shoots out. Whoa. Okay. Easy there. <laughs> wow. Crew report. I said crew report. Hey, there we go. Keep that data. And this is just going to oscillate around because it's stupid. Come on. Give me the goo. Give me that goo. Give me the goo. Give me the goo. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and warp ahead so I can wrap this up. Because on Splashdown, once we recover Jebediah safely, I'm going to say bye for now.
and uh, and then we'll get started on episode two, where we're gonna broach the world of liquid engineering, not liquid engineering, but liquid rocketry engineering. Um, when do I have to leave? Oh yeah. Okay. That's one set of shoots, and then just the second set of shoot. The second shoot. There's the second shoot. And then it's just drifting on down into the ocean. The ocean. Can I get anything out of the goo right now? No. Wait for splash down though, and maybe. There's whoa. I'm not used to this whole screen shaking. Yes, keep the data. Observe the goo. The goo escapes into the water. No, goo, come back. Cover the vessel. Good job, everybody. Successful flight. Handshakes all around. I think I finished them off with the uh, last thing I did, which was make a, a 707. 21 science. Plenty of funds recovered from parts. Not money made, but Jeb's alive, so... I think it's a good place to stop. Thanks for joining me. We are 12 minutes into day one. And, uh, this next episode, we're going to go ahead and get this show on the road with some liquid rocketry. And I will, uh, I'll catch you on the flip side. See ya.